hey guys, I'm going to teach you what I've learned over eight years of driving trucks and hopefully it can prevent a steer tire blowout for you. Now notice we're going to look at the outside of this tire. The shoulder is good because this coupling groove is still here. On these Toyo M177s, they're a softer rubber, kind of meant for highway miles, kind of gives you a little softer ride. Notice how you see good tread depth, no wear bars showing. You can see the groove on the inside of the tire there. Now we're going to compare this to the passenger side. This is the dangerous one. This is the ticking time bomb. Notice how there's no groove on the outside. That shoulder is very low. Pretty soon we're going to see steel there and the cords, and that's where this tire is going to blow if I run over anything on the road. So notice how everywhere else the tire looks fine, but the outside shoulder is the dangerous part here. Now I've seen the reverse of this happen on the driver's side tire where the inside was all worn out and the outside had the groove still, and that's even more dangerous because it's harder to see coming. So hopefully this gives you the, a glimpse into what to look for with your steer tires. Hey, if you found this content useful, like and subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. I'm pretty good at getting back to you on those. Here we're going to end with some pictures a buddy of mine took when he was driving a dump truck that had a steer tire blowout. Went through the guardrail and drug it down the hill until he came to a stop. Um, so yeah, the stakes are high on these steer tires.